the brain actually ages quite slowly relative to other organs. And it's partly because it's protected from toxins. It's got a special blood brain barrier that protects mm. it. It also has very good defense mechanisms, but it's not perfect. And it's actually susceptible to damage because those cells typically don't divide in your brain. You have to protect them because it's very hard to fix them. Though we are working on that. And I think our next slide, we're going to cover that part of the brain age reversal and mm. reprogramming. But before that technology is ready, let's just talk about things that we could do today. Uh, we'll talk about those things that we can implement today to slow down the aging of the brain. Yeah. And so to maintain the identity of your neurons, so your neurons don't become more like skin and fail. Uh, mm -hmm. There are certain diets that we, we believe slow down aging. There, there are a number of studies now that point to that, not just showing that you have improved health, but there was one study that showed that switching to a Mediterranean-like diet, most more plant-based than, than meat, also with uh, a little bit of red wine if you want it, and mostly um, olive oil rather than the saturated fatty oils from animals. The study showed that the, this, these changes to cell identity, uh, we can measure this with what's called the DNA methylation clock, also known as the Horvath clock. Um, mm -hmm. It actually ticks more slowly when you eat a Mediterranean diet, which is another reason for, for saying that we should focus more on plants mm -hmm. and these kinds of types of foods. But plants also contain molecules in them that that activate the body's defenses against aging. And uh, and that's another reason I take NMN, they also activate sirtuins. But let me talk about one study. There was one longitudinal study, so looking at almost 2,000 people, and there was a 10% reduction in dementia risk for each time they uh, they switched into a Mediterranean-like diet. And it correlated with better memory and better cognitive performance for those people. Just one of many studies showing that what you eat really affects not just how intelligent and how much you can remember this week but decades later and that's so important to to start early because uh, sometimes it can be too late once dementia is really set in it's really hard to reverse it at that stage uh yeah so if you look in my fridge uh, a lot of vegetables i have um, dark green vegetables so this would be a lot of spinach i have um broccoli um grass with sulforaphane in there would be very beneficial uh, and to boost the body's defenses against DNA damage, you know, it drives the epigenetic changes and the clock. Um, so, yeah, it's that's it. We Legumes, um, sunflower seeds. I eat seeds during the day. Occasionally a bite of choc little dark chocolate. There's um, catechins in it, which are also very protective and can also boost mitochondria. And matcha green tea, uh, the one that we think is most potent, scientists think, is ECGC. An antioxidant, but also is able to boost mitochondria like metformin by inhibiting it and causing a little bit of stress to those mitochondria so they react and produce more of themselves. Yeah, so most of the things you mentioned uh, boost the levels of a protein called BDNF. And similar to nerve growth factor, MGF, that I mentioned earlier, uh, it's really important for maintaining nerve cell health and the growth of new nerves. And so it's been shown that you can grow new nerves in a process um, it's called neurogenesis, and BDNF is very important for that, as well as forming new, new uh, what are called synapses. And what we find, we in my lab and other scientists find that as we get older, BDNF levels go down, and the brain doesn't heal and grow and remember things very well. And by maintaining BDNF levels uh, during aging, by eating these types of foods, it has remarkable benefits. Uh, ECGC, for example, uh, matcha tea, regularly have a 35% less chance of getting dementia. And there's lots of studies showing that. So this idea that diet uh, isn't just improving, you know, the taste and, and your, your body metabolism, it's actually affecting your brain. That's something that a lot of people fail to actually think about, uh, excuse the pun, but it's super important that we protect the brain because there's really, like I said, there's no point having a really healthy body if your brain starts to age first.